Hey guys, so for today's video I did this flame makeup tutorial. I'm not sure who the first person that did this is, but I will put the picture of who I got inspiration from. She's really, really talented, so go check out her stuff. I will also link her down below so you guys can go check her out and it's easier. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please give the video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe while you're down there. Also, click the little bell button to be notified whenever I post and check out my social media while you're down there in the description below. And if you guys want to see how I did this look, then keep on watching. Okay. <laughs> so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eyelids using the Tarte Shape Tape and Light Sand. I'm just patting this all over my eye and I'm going to bring it out further just in case you know, one of the flames gets too hot to handle. So first I'm going to start to sketch out where I want the flames to go and I'm going to take Max Chrome Yellow Eyeshadow and I'm going to use a really tiny brush and just start to kind of like map out where I want the flames to be. <gasps> oh my gosh. Are you kidding me right now? No! So I just bought this brush. Yes, yes, this is the Morphe M250-0. Okay, this is a brush. Here's the packaging. Oh my god, like, look how bent this is. And I'm pretty sure that's not how the brush is supposed to be. Maybe it is, actually. I doubt it, but it is bent. So I'm going to take my bent-ass Morphe M520-0 brush, and I'm just going to start tracing where I want the flames to go. That's probably really hard to see, but I just kind of traced out where I want the flames to go. Now I'm going to take the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in Bang Bang, and I'm going to trace over where I put the yellow. So I cleaned the flames up a little bit right around this area. I kind of messed up. And also right here you can see there's like a little bit of fallout, but that's okay because I'll be covering that with the yellow. So now I'm going to go back into that yellow that I used to trace out the flames and I'm just going to put it all over my lid. But first I'm going to apply a little bit more uh, concealer over my lid just so that yellow sticks onto something. I'm going to start packing on that yellow with a Morphe M213 brush. It's a super tiny little definer brush. I was going to do a gradient. I was going to go from red to orange to yellow and not have the um, red outline. If this does not work, then that is what I'll be doing. But for now, just packing it all over my lid. about it so I really like how it looks right now I think it looks super cool and I would really like to leave it like this but I think I'm gonna ombre it I know <laughs> it looks so cool it looks so awesome and just Boop. but I don't know it feels a little bit weird I don't know so I'm gonna bring the red down further and then put um orange and then just leave the yellow closest to my lash line. So I'm going to be going into the Morphe 3502 palette. I'm going to be taking this red and this orange for the ombre. So I'm first going to be applying the red. I'm going to take my bent brush. The 35B doesn't have a red? Is this red? Is this supposed to be a red? I'm sorry. Oh what? Let me just let me just try it out. It looks pink, yo. It looks pink. I need some I need something to keep me bumping. Somebody call 
So I just finished this eye. I did a ombre, but I also like since I did put the yellow all over my lid, it was kind of hard to put other shades on top. So the outline's a little bit darker, but I think it still looks fun. So I'm gonna do the other eye for camera and I'll be right back. So for lashes, I applied the Dota Lashes in the style D115. If you guys want to try out these lashes, don't forget to use my code LALXSLY at checkout to save some money. So for primer, I'm going to use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. For foundation, I'm going to use the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in L4.5. I think I applied a little too much. A little too much. -o. Concealer, I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape in light medium. I'm going to use light medium to cover up my dark circles. Then I'm going to take the Kylie Skin Concealer in Bone and I'm going to highlight this blend it out. I've been thinking about doing a um, Q&A but having it be like fun questions, you know? So not just like, what's your dog's name? What's your middle name? How old are you? Where are you from? Stuff like that. Like I want it to be fun. How do you eat your tacos? That's a fun question. How do you eat your tacos? How do you eat your cereal? Do you pour your milk after you pour your cereal or before you pour your cereal? You know, like those kind of fun questions. To do my under eyes, I'm gonna use the Airspun Loose Face Powder. I think I could like this powder, but I really don't like the way it smells. I'm going to bronze my face using the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronzer. Look at all these baby hairs. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Like, I want an orange bronzer, please. All the bronzers I use are super, like, cool toned, and I just want to warm up my face. I just want a warm face, you know? That is all I want. Now I'm going to take Max Peaches Blush. A little bit of my nose, my chin, and just a little bit of my forehead. Ooh. My eyes look lit. Can't stop doing it. For highlight, I'm gonna use the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. Está <sighs> frío. Está frío. For lips, I'm going to use Max Spice Lip Liner. I'm going to go for a nude glossy lip. Ooh, I live. I live for the overline. For lipstick, I applied the Lancome Color Design Natural Beauty Cream Lipstick. And then over top, I'm going to apply the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss. I'm going to do my lower lash on off the camera and I'll be right back. So that was the tutorial, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I'll out, out. I'll be right back. Okay. Damn. Okay. Okay. Ah. Mm -hmm. The puns are killing me. All these little baby ears. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh.